What's up, everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an EP review to do for you, and I'm going to be talking to you about the new EP from the band Subduer, entitled Death Monolith. This is released on Dunkel Height Production. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Germany, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very gritty, abrasive, volatile hybrid of both black metal and harsh noise power electronics. Uh, yeah. This is a very, very new band to my ears and my eyes because earlier in the year I was made aware of this project in the form of a split release called uh, Damnatio Ad Bestias with a band also based out of Germany called Corpo. And listening to Subduer's material, I was extremely mesmerized. I was mesmerized by how, how, how evil it sounded, how nasty everything sounded, the way everything was muffled, distorted, uh, just straight out fucked with <laughs> this band's sound was. I absolutely loved it. I love the harsh noise elements. I love the vocals. I love the way the riff sounded and the the, the battery feeling of the drums. It, it was just a really, really sensational amount of material. And I was very curious to hear what would be next from Subduer. And now here we are with this next step in this band's sound and evolution entitled Death Monolith. It's only four tracks, and it clocks in at around 17 minutes in length, and I can easily guarantee you, if you are into black metal that has very, very wild and distorted elements of elect power electronics and harsh noise, this is going to be the band to be paying attention to. I have a feeling that a band like this will not be appealing to anybody and everyone, because this is very much abrasive shit from the get-go. But I think that that's the point of listening to a band like Subduer. You're not listening to this band for cleanliness or godliness. You're listening to Subduer to pretty much get your ass kicked or your throat ripped out. That's what it feels like listening to Death Monolith. And I am extremely excited for this band's future and what will be soon to come from them next. Uh, yeah. Very, very twisted and sounding stuff. I love the, the the way these guitar riffs are. If you're able to understand and get what the whole feeling of the, of the noise and distortion elements are, you get some really, really sick riff work being done here, especially on the title track and then on the later song, Zulfikar. Very, very killer guitar riffs going on here with this with this band. Very loud, very obnoxious, very very fucked up sounding stuff. That's what I love about this this particular guitar sound. It's just so weird, wild, and wicked. I love that about these guitars. Uh, the bottom end bass distortion works out very well too. Of course, this is mainly an album that is dominated primarily by the the harsh noise and guitar sounds. I think it works out very well here. Uh, the drumming on here is just so top-notch. I love this drumming sound. It, it's very much blast beat heavy. Uh, a lot of great fills. Um, you really do get that almost... Um, I almost feel like it, 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 it hinges on war metal sort of territories going on here with this drum sound. But it really works out well. When you do hear this drummer do his thing and play the drums the way he does, it really sounds awesome. I love this guy's drum performance, and it definitely maintains the great pace and, and, and execution throughout this EP. And once again, going to the harsh noise elements of this band, I mean, if you're already accustomed to bands like Tetragrammicide, the early material at least, or Nyoctobliz, You'll get what Subduer is about. You'll get why the, the, the beginnings of songs have these really wild and wooly sort of noise uh, introductions and elements. And you hear straight up full noise on the song Domination Transmission. Uh, very, very awesome stuff. And considering that I love black metal and I love harsh noise wall power electronic shit, this is something that works perfectly. I love when those when elements like that get blended together and it works out to create a very solid and, and worthwhile sound 
uh, really, really killer ex inclusions of harsh noise and black metal here. Uh, and the vocals are really awesome too. Uh, very, uh, very, very f freaky sounding vocals here. I love the the, the mixture of the of the reverbed vocals with the echoes and the oops and the the just the way this vocalist is handling his business it's really really killer stuff I love the vocal deliveries being done here I like the little bits of samples and spoken word parts that come out in bits and pieces here uh, really really distinctive stuff here but uh, yeah overall Subduer are gonna be one of those black metal bands to be paying attention to and seeing what the potential next step is if you're into black metal if you're into that war metal shit if you're into harsh noise power electronics subduer is the band to be checking out like i said this is really probably not going to appeal to everyone but it sure as shit appeals to me <laughs> i fucking love this ep so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave you a link in the description box is how you can get a hold of this ep and listen to it i will leave you a link to the dunkle high productions uh band camp page where you can listen to this ep in its entirety hear it for yourself and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not you can stream it by digitally and it is available physically as a cd i believe there could be a tape version coming up uh i will link you to there there are there's also links to where you can get t-shirts and patches and all that and i'll leave you a link to the subduer band camp where you can purchase stuff from the artists directly and if you want to support them and help them out so again the ep is uh death monolith by subduer this is released on uh dunkle height productions go check this band out and for a score i'm gonna give this a very very strong 8.5 out of 10 i love this shit and i want to hear and see more from them in the future so if you've happened to have heard this ep definitely let me know what you think about it and how you feel about it or any of you guys into subduer definitely let me know i'm gonna conclude this review thanks a lot for watching thank you for checking out my channel and until the next time army help out